Yo, we got the exciting spoilers for chapter 7 of Boruto 2 Blue Vortex, man. We get to see the fight between Mitsuki and Boruto, Boruto's true intention, and much more. The chapter starts where chapter 6 left off, with Boruto flying far away from Kawaki's detection range in the village. Mitsuki thinks about the role that Kawaki has in his life, i.e. being the son and how he was the first one to make him feel alive and brighten his darkness. Kinda sus, like a lie. Anyways, we dive into the battle itself. Mitsuki approaches him and we get a masterpiece of a showdown. So, Mitsuki launches some snakes at him. Boruto dodges them and teleports behind him. He asks Mitsuki why he is the one coming after him and not Kawaki. Shikamaru informs Boruto of Kawaki's state that he's been poisoned and Mitsuki is acting on his own. Mitsuki while charging up declares to Boruto and admits that he must be stronger than Kawaki with the way he took down Code and he believes that Kawaki himself wouldn't be able to do that which is honestly just crazy although this is like subjective to Mitsuki himself it's noteworthy that he's been with Kawaki and possibly trained with him during these three years so he would know Kawaki's strength and saying that he is weaker than Boruto at that rate is insane. After that Mitsuki declares that he is set on stopping him even if it cost him his life. Boruto responds and tells him that it's pointless because he is in the same position as Kawaki. They cannot manage him. Yeah I would say it's plainly put here to say that Kawaki at this point cannot rival Boruto. Now here Mitsuki says there's another reason why he left Kawaki behind and that reason is to unleash his true power. And man this new jutsu is hella clean. It's also so simple and effective at the same time. So in his sage mode form he launches dozens of snakes and transforms them into a clone of himself and with those clones he sends even more snakes at him. Now here Boruto tells him that increasing the snakes is not good for nature poking fun at his technique and he is saying this while he is dodging those attacks. Mitsuki tells him that this is his causing and that's why he should just vanish. Boruto tells him that there's more important things he has to do and hence he's gonna stop playing with it. Now here's the thing before that he was flying away from the snakes that were coming to him. Now he is literally coming at Mitsuki moving past the snakes so fast the snakes can't even touch him. Now cloaking his sword with some sort of lightning he slashes all of his clones and we get a close face off between the two. Both now forming a signed jutsu. The collateral damage created this mist between them so Mitsuki lost sight of Boruto just for him to appear next to him and almost dealing the final blow stopping at his neck. Boruto tells him that what he wants to believe holds no truth anymore and asks him when did Kawaki the supposed son lose his shine. Mitsuki asks what it is to him since he is the rebel who betrayed the village. He wouldn't understand Mitsuki and here Boruto lays the facts straight man. He tells him that he is the son and here Mitsuki captures him but cannot get himself to attack him. Boruto tells him that even he should have noticed that Kawaki isn't the son and he cannot make Mitsuki shine. He tells him that all in all Mitsuki is the one to decide who the son is. Now here the translations may be a bit off but I think Mitsuki asks him what Boruto's objective is and he reveals that he does not intend on killing Kawaki rather as a matter of setting a score with him. Mitsuki asks Boruto why he killed the seventh and here Boruto lets the cat out of the bag and it reveals to him as well as Ino and Shikamaru that Naruto is alive and well along with Hinata. He almost says mom but he stops short and here he deals the final blow to Mitsuki telling him he believes that Mitsuki can actually shine by himself but if he for whatever reason needs a son he can just turn to him anytime. And we see this shocked looking Mitsuki probably now rethinking his life. It'll be interesting to see how it develops after this and the decisions he's gonna make. We transition to Boruto and Shikamaru's conversation again and this part is dialogue heavy so due to it being an official translation we could be missing some details here and there. Anyways in this part we get Boruto's true objective as well as new information about the omnipotence. So Boruto is not interested in explaining the omnipotence as it's revealed that everyone even he himself forgets the details about the omnipotence relating to omnipotence effect. It's impossible to completely grasp the details of omnipotence. And here there's yet another new thing that's brought up. I don't know if it's that translations but it seems like Boruto is quoting someone's statement. Possibly Shibai as Boruto in quote says that's just the kind of ability I have he said with a silly grin. It's most definitely referring to Shibai and that just spurs up another question. Where and how did he get that information? Boruto says it's a big deal now and they can never truly go back to how it was. The conversation shifts is focused to Kawaki now and Boruto basically says that Kawaki sealed Naruto to keep him safe and he won't let Naruto out until Kawaki himself feels safe. Hence they shouldn't try to save Naruto but to save Kawaki which is I mean a bit of a weird statement but I think he means to say that to keep backing Kawaki up regardless even though they now know the truth to play it safe basically. Boruto adds that Kawaki will try to kill him but he will keep it within a brotherly scuffle and they will go along after that. Shikamaru then says that he will have to be seen as a traitor 
perpetrator of Konoha so that Kawaki isn't pushed to the edge by people finding out. They can't expose his actions in public and he asks Borto if that is okay. Borto just says that he intended to do that from the start. Hence we have those instances where Borto refrains from calling people what he normally calls them by. Now here we transition to Shinju's residence place. Jura has started reading books and is growing in knowledge. The translations are a bit vague but it seems like there's a question he's searching answer for and he's trying to find it through gaining knowledge. Maybe it has to do with the world itself. They are curious about it and the more they learn, the more they figure out that they don't know. He finally says that whatever book he reads, he can't find his answer there and they shall now visit Naruto. And here it is stated the day. So maybe Hidori is also following along. So the next question is, are they going to Kawaki's Daikokoten dimension or are they heading to Konoha? Me personally, I think they're going to head to the live village with their target as objective and will get each of them facing off with their respective target. But what will be of Mitsuki now? Borjo straight up told him the truth and I believe Mitsuki will have some sort of realization and see the sun in Boruto whilst his memory is coming against it. I think he will have to battle within himself as everyone else that's seen the truth. And what will be the conversation between him and Kawaki once they meet again? Yeah, there's just more build-ups, man. I'm gonna drop my full review after the official release and I'll go in depth with my thoughts and theories for the review. Also, let me know your thoughts regarding the chapter. With that being said, thank you for watching and take care.